hello everyone uh, so today we'll be creating a data frame in this video uh, from the cpu log data csv file using pyspark and we'll perform uh, uh, some operations and also we'll uh, visualize it so we having we are having uh, the cpu log data um, which is uh, stored in uh, hdfs uh, i have already done that and we'll be performing uh, operations like uh, displaying the users uh, etc uh, so here first of all i'll start the hadoop daemons and then uh, we'll check it uh, if it's running mm, and also this uh, spark as you can see this worker and uh, master node are, uh, are running uh, we'll uh, we'll work in uh, vs code uh, today so creating a data frame we will be performing all these uh, set of operations which i have shown here also i'll show you the hdfs uh, directory where this uh, file is present so i have the csv files where i have merged this uh, into a single file as you can see the data present over here so now mm, i have uh, downloaded i have loaded that into hdfs now we'll be performing these operations like displaying the users and record counts finding users with highest number of average hours lowest number of average hours highest number of idle hours it means like if it if the user is um, not uh, not working so we'll import the necessary libraries i have written all these codes over here i'll uh, execute one by one so here uh, reading the csv file i have specified the hdfs path over here uh, and now i am taking out only those certain uh, columns which i am using so we, as we are performing oper uh, these operations we uh, can concentrate only on these um, username date time keyboard and uh, mouse columns so i'll run this uh, so to display uh, the topmost elements rows uh, we'll use this dot head so as you can see the data csv data so now we'll be displaying the users and the record counts i am uh, using this group by function uh, where i'll be counting the username so here as you can see is uh, this is the count column uh, so it's displaying the count for this uh, username so next is uh, finding out the highest number of uh, average hearts so first of all i'll create or uh, uh, view named as a view one now i am uh, writing a query where i'm selecting the username from this view where i'm specifying my condition as keyboard is not equal to zero or mouse is not equal to zero that is uh, it's nothing but um, the user is working uh, so then group by uh, username and counting that and i'll be showing that i'll execute this so as you can see this is the count and uh, now for this keyboard and uh, mouse thing okay now we'll do is uh, now we'll create a one more view called as r view so we'll be using this dfn uh, where i'm creating one more view called as r view and now uh, this uh, uh, writing a query where the username and count count minus one because we we are not considering the header we are we are not performing on that and into phi is the interval phi is the interval time like the difference of every record is with the difference of five minutes uh, so the it's uh, phi and into sixty is the seconds mm, uh, dividing by six the six the records as average seconds that is the column. So now we'll run that. So as you can see, the average seconds column present. Uh, so, but we want this in hours. For this, I've done this conversion. So eighty six thousand four hundred and three thousand uh, thirty uh, three thousand six hundred. Uh, the upper part is for this um, hours, and the lower one is for this uh, minutes. So the highest average hours is got. Uh, we will concatenate that so that uh, we'll we'll separate that by uh, colon. So as you can see the output over here now, I'll run it. 
so as you can see this uh, our seconds is converted into this hour six uh, six hours two minutes that is separated by colon uh, we are just concatenating that so now is this uh, lowest number of average working hours so here just the difference is that uh, we'll do this uh, sort thing sort in uh, ascending order of this lowest average hour that is the next column uh, so the same thing just the conversion and uh, sorting it out in ascending order Oh, there is a mistake over here. Oh, I am not. I read the quotes. Okay. Now I'll run it. Uh, okay. Now, now showing that average, lowest average hours. As you can see, the counting and um, also this average hours. The next thing is that we'll be. We'll be finding the uh, users with the highest number of idle hours. Idle hours where uh, uh, it means like the user is not working. That that is why we are specifying the condition as where keyboard is zero and uh, mouse is zero uh, for that user. Uh, so we'll uh, now create a, t uh, a view called as idle hour view, and then uh, the same thing like uh, count minus one because we don't want the header, and five is the interval. 60 is the seconds uh, and 60 is the record count so uh, as average minimum column uh, so now we can see the previous part I have executed as count and now I will be executing this so now an extra column called as average min uh, is created over here it is in minutes but we but we want it in hours so again the conversion part the first line is for this um, minute uh, hour and the second is for this um, minutes so by this we'll get it in uh, hours i'll run it so as you can see the next row column uh, where this average minute is converted into this uh, idle hours so now we'll visualize this whatever we have done all these things will visualize it so here I'm importing uh, the necessary uh, libraries so here this part as you can see DFC uh, that is this uh, count so we'll be first plotting the bar plot for this user and uh, count record uh, will uh, DFC to pandas uh, then the basically the figure size x is this uh, count and uh, y is the username the x limit title everything is uh, specified so as you can see this is the bar plot uh, for count against this uh, user so now is the uh, pie plot for this uh, user and count record uh, the necessary libraries are imported and uh, I have taken as user data as uh, df of username and count data as count uh, and then uh, the figure size all these are uh, necessary ones whichever we want face color w and uh, now the title is given as users and uh, count records uh, also the legend is specified we can specify either left right or uh, bottom that's up to you okay here okay something extra is added over here just the typo sorry okay now I'll run it so as you can see the pie chart has been created sorry the plotted now the bar plot for this average hearts by users uh, again uh, we have imported the necessary libraries uh, figure size is given and here x is the highest average hours and y is the count we are plotting it against each other and uh, data is the df now we can see okay this is the plot for uh, highest average hours versus this uh, count average hours uh, by this by the user or the person so next will be this for this idle hours i will be 
plotting this bar plot and this uh, pie plot for both uh, both of uh, these plots for this idle hours here uh, i am giving x as idle hours and y as count um, and uh, the rest remains the same so this is the bar plot for this idle hours uh, as you can see now the pie plot for this idle hours the user data is the username count data is the count and uh, i am giving count data over here and uh, all this uh, extra one can be done the title and all title legend and all so this is the pie plot for this uh, idle hours for this count data so so as you see we have done this visualization and also with these operations have been performed so that's all for this video as you see all of these operations have been performed so that's all for the video we'll meet up in the next video thank you bye